All right, hello everyone, and welcome to day two on board the Piano Iona, my new favorite ship. <laughs> As you can see, we are at sea today, uh, which you probably can't see actually. Hang on a sec. As you can see, we are at sea today. There's the sea out there. All right, so where are we currently? Well, I'm going to guess that we are currently uh, towards the west of the English Channel. Uh, coming around towards the northwest of France, uh, getting ready to do a little whoop, little whoop round and head down south towards Spain. And there we go, look, pretty much exactly where I thought we were. Um, I guess that's why they call me Mr. Cruz. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I went to the buffet to have my breakfast, uh, which was really nice. Um, it was very busy in there, though, so normally I go for breakfast quite late in the morning and we try and avoid the sort of mad rush of the morning, but it was quite busy. Um, it was quite difficult to kind of get some food and to kind of find somewhere to sit as well. Um, so that was quite surprising. Um, but the food was very nice. Um, and yeah, and then I went and explored some of the outdoor areas. Now, it's still very cold here, uh, which is very upsetting because I know there is a beautiful ship and there's a lots of outdoor areas to explore. But no one's really taking advantage of it because it is very cold at the moment. Um, so everyone kind of congregated in the Sky Dome, uh, which was a lot warmer in there. Um, but I had a little walk about. Um, you can see that I was kind of huddling near the jacuzzis a lot to try and keep warm because <laughs> it was very cold. Um, but hopefully soon we're going to get that warmer weather. So in terms of the ship's movement, I can't really feel any movement at all. You have to really focus, I think, to kind of move it. You might be able to see it um, through the balcony that we are kind of swaying a little bit up and down. But it's it's nothing I can't you know handle or anything, especially <laughs> considering how it was on Azura. <laughs> we'll be in front about all over the place but um okay so what are my plans for the rest of this sea day well the first thing i think i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to try out the shower um because it's that time so i'm gonna do that and then we'll probably just make stuff up as i go along probably go to the buffet a few times uh <laughs> do all that um see hopefully it's warmed up a little bit i have seen that the sun's come out um but i'm very doubtful that it's actually quite warm out there but um we'll see so i'm gonna go have a shower and then um We'll see what we're doing from there. All right, so that is me all showered up and clean. Um, I enjoyed, oh God, I enjoyed it in there. I've just got one little, little, little tiny little um, niggle to talk about, uh, which I'll show you in here. So if you come with me, oh, come on, come with me, come on. So if you see this here, there's a sign here that says you need to test the water temperature um, prior to entering, which is fine. It says it on all cruises, but the way that this shower is laid out, if I just back off a bit, let me just zoom out. Here we go. So you can see that obviously this is glass um, here. So actually I can't reach the controls without being in the shower, you see. So you can't actually test it without being in here, which is weird because it always comes out really cold and then it gets really hot and then really cold but that's my only my only little niggle um to do with it um i've got to find something because i haven't criticized this ship yet so <laughs> i need to find something so yeah that's it this sea day is pressing on um a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go upstairs i think i'm going to have a little walk around the jogging track uh just to try and burn some calories because i'm not really doing any <laughs> exercise yet and then we'll go it'll probably be time for dinner so we'll have kind of like a late dinner and then we'll uh make it up as we go along i haven't planned anything it's literally, this is just one of those spontaneous days, so we'll do whatever. See if we bump into anything going on around the ship. But let's go upstairs and hopefully not freeze. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes.
All right, then. You're going to have to excuse my hair. Um, unfortunately, I've been outside and it's currently raining. Uh, basically, the story was when I left the Sky Dome um, after the show, I took a 50-50 of which way I was meant to go because I wanted to head towards the buffet. Um, so I went one way and ended up going the wrong way. So instead of realizing that and turning around, I decided to keep going and looked like I meant to go that way and ended up going upstairs and going outside and then going around, basically doing a loop. Um, Cause I was too embarrassed to admit that I went the wrong way. Um, so that's why my hair's wet. Um, but I'm going to try and dry it now, actually. Um, ah, okay. That's a bit better. So I went to the show. Um, people always say to me, why don't you go to the show? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I went to the show. Um, in fact, I went to the show one and a half times because I walked halfway through the first show and then I stayed to the second. Um, it was about birds. Um, <laughs> that's all I can really say about it. Um, it was about birds. Uh, so if you like people dressing up as birds, doing some dancing, um, there was some juggling as well, um, some aero aerobics, I guess it's called, uh, where you're hanging from the ropes up there. And I have to say, the most scariest looking bird I've ever seen in my life, uh, which is definitely going to give me nightmares for years to come. Um, if that's what floats your boat, um, <laughs> get it, because we're on a, yeah. Um, if that's the sort of thing you like, then that is the show that you will enjoy. But yeah, just a little update uh, with everything that's going on. I can feel the ship beginning to move. Um, obviously, we are heading south um, into the Bay of Biscay, uh, which is probably why we're beginning to feel the ship move. And I'm surprised that a ship this size, you can feel it move as much as it is. But I am beginning to feel it sort of roll around a bit, uh, which is cool. I don't mind it. Um, it adds a bit of excitement, I guess, if that's something that you like. I don't know. But guys, that is going to bring it to the end of day two on board the Piano Iona, my new favorite ship, if I haven't told you already. Um, but I'm going to start with a bit of bad news, unfortunately. Um, I checked my old Horizon, which I got delivered um, just now, um, and it says here that we are losing one hour. Uh, the clocks are going uh, forward one hour tonight, uh, which means that I'm going to be losing an hour's sleep, which is never good. Um, I struggle to sleep at the best of times uh, without them taking an hour off me. <laughs> but that's kind of the inevitable part of traveling the world. Also on here as well, tomorrow we have celebration night, uh, which means that we should get our free glass of thing. Um, I can't read it because I took my glasses off, so that's kind of silly. Um, so yeah, it'll be celebration night tomorrow, um, so look forward to that. We're also at sea again tomorrow as well as we continue to make our way south to hopefully some warmer weather. I've got my fingers crossed, my toes crossed. I really need that sun because I don't come on holiday to wear hoodies. I come to sunbathe. Um, I don't think we'll probably be able to sunbathe on this holiday, but I live in hope, um, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, guys, as I said, that is the end of day two on board the piano, Iona. Uh, we've got so many more days to go, so many more places to enjoy, things to do, explore the ship, so many things to do, so many more trips to the buffet to go. Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> so much to do, so please stay tuned for that. Um, and let me know your thoughts on the Iona, uh, whether you've been on here, whether you want to be on here, whether you've enjoyed it, whatever you want, let me know down below. And I will see you tomorrow when we are at sea. Still. Um, <laughs> that's one of the weirdest outros I think I've done so far, but we're going to stick with it. I'll see you tomorrow, guys.